All right, that takes us to our nightly question and answer session. We call it Ask the Doctor, and Dr. Jonathan Dario, a family physician affiliated with Adventist Health Bakersfield, is with us tonight. Good evening to you, Doctor. Good evening, Jim. Let's start with the protests going on in Bakersfield for several days now over the death of George Floyd. You've seen the crowds, some people are wearing masks, but the majority of the protesters are not. Are you concerned at all that this could lead to a spike in local COVID-19 cases, doctor? Um, of course, on my hand, on a personal level, I support the, the protest um, with the right to protest and, of course, Black Lives Matter. And, you know, when, if you're doing protesting, the only thing I could encourage for you to do is to try to be safe because there's still the coronavirus out there, especially being in such a um, tight group and, you know, as much as possible if you can. Uh, try to do the social distancing, make sure you keep wear a mask, and keep your hands clean. Of course, the concern is if, um, you know, a few weeks from now, uh, if there's someone who's exposing others during the protest, you could have a, a large uh, surge in cases. Um, but, you know, I think the best thing that anyone can do in this situation is to just try to be safe, keep your hands clean, keep, keep them washed, and wear a mask. And doctor, over the weekend, Kern Public Health reported 105 new COVID-19 cases in Kern County in just one day. And today, another 54 cases. Should we be concerned, especially now that we are seeing a lot of businesses reopening here in Kern County? Um, I think it, it is a, a moment for pause for all of us. Um, you know, it's a reflection, all the cases that you see today, are usually reflections of uh, exposures that happened a week or two before. Um, and that's the representation of when we were starting to slowly um, uh, decrease the restrictions on uh, businesses and letting people go out more. Um, going forward, I think it's, it's just your personal responsibility again. You know, you have to be on top of yourself. When you're out and about, make sure to wear a mask, try to keep that distance. You know, um, the, the best way to prevent yourself from getting the coronavirus is uh, preventing it for yourself and taking those measures. Doctor, one final question before we let you go. Uh, a lot of hope in fighting COVID-19 has uh, been placed on the development of a vaccine. And at least one drug company has said it may have a vaccine by September. Yet, the LA Times is reporting only seven vaccines have been approved by the FDA in the last 25 years. So how realistic is it that we could see a COVID-19 vaccine before the end of the year, do you think, doctor? Um, I think we will see one by the end of the year. Um, whether or not you, you'll choose to do it or not um, doesn't mean it's going to be FDA approved. Um, I'm sure that they'll have to work on studies and we'll still see the long-term effects of the vaccine that they're creating. Um, you know, I'm thankful for the, the people who are um, letting themselves be tested with these vaccines to see um, so we get a chance of finding something. Um, the, the only way going forward is if we actually try to make these vaccines and actually try them out, um, see if they work or not. Um, so um, if we have one company that has one that they believe should be ready by that time, you know, I'm sure there'll be other companies as well, and it will go under review with the FDA. But of course, um, it, even if they, they're not technically FDA approved, we would just weigh the risks and benefits of it. Um, it'll be a discussion with your physician. It'll be um, going forward to see if it, with the studies, if it's actually showing benefit, and if it's something that we should do or not. All right, we've got a long way to go before we get there, that's for sure. Dr. Jonathan Dario with Adventist Health Bakersfield, thanks for your time tonight, doctor. Thank you. Okay, sir.